everyone sorry about yesterday not being able to finish the uh, vlog yesterday we ran out of time with going to the tank museum so we're gonna head there today so hopefully you'll come along and see all of the tanks and everything I don't know what's gonna be there so we'll have to wait and see if you carry on watching look how beautiful it is today it's absolutely glorious not a well, one or two clouds in the sky but it's gonna be a scorcher again and we're off to the tank museum you ready to go, kids? Yeah. Gonna be a good day. Pointing at you just as you get there, look. It's hiding behind there. Just a burlock. Oh, that's a biggie. That's what she said. There's another Here's one, look. Tank. And another. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that little one. That's more my size. Oh, that's been hit by a few things. Smile. There you go, that's the uh, Royal Tank Regiment Memorial statue. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh. Go on then, Wes, <laughs> put your helmet on. This is really, really big. It's big. That I bet you're warm in that sofa, aren't you? Yeah. I bet you guys are in all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's because the first one is warm. Yes. And not the best uniforms. No. Oh my gosh, Sophie. you look cool. Very good, Wes. Very no, they didn't have snapbacks in the war. They don't protect your head. <laughs> wow. But they do protect you from the sun. Yeah, that's the that's protect your head. That's it. Um, There's lots of tanks. Yes. It's yeah. probably because it's called a tank museum. <laughs> yeah. That looks cool, Wes. Where's... Hang on. Well on. Gonna... I didn't do the one. God. <laughs> Oh dear, Sophie. Oh, you look super cool. I bet, I look like a soldier. I this is um, Da Vinci's model of an early example of a, a tank designed by Da Vinci. The tank at the top and then the workings on the inside. What a massive gun. This is the uh, the first area of the tank museum and there are so many different sorts of tanks. I never knew that there was this many tanks ever. There are so many. Like little ones as well. They look tiny like a child would drive them. But that one there, that's a huge beast of a tank there. You, you just can't take into uh, you can't take into consideration how big they actually are until we're actually stood next to them. I'll take a photograph in a few. Well, I'll take a video in a little while with the kids and uh, Susie stood next to them. You'll be able to see how actually big they are. So we were just told by the guys who uh, were making the tank models that the actual Challenger tank and the T-34 tank that was used in the actual Battlefield game, uh, Battlefield 3 and 4, were actually done here. They actually got the modelling for it actually in this, uh, this tank museum and I suppose they'll have got the modelling for the Battlefield 1 tanks as well from here. 
Uh, but yeah, it, it's, we'll find them a bit later on and hopefully we'll be able to take a photograph with them or a, a video with them. So we'll keep an eye out for them two tanks. So for all you Battlefield fans, you'll know what they are, okay? Okay, so there's Susie and Wes and Sophie stood next to that tank that I just showed you from above. And you can just see how big it actually is compared to them, like right next to them. The guy up the top said that there's hardly any room inside the tank. There's hardly any room inside the tank for uh, for people to move about. But you'd think that with it being that big, there'd be plenty of room. I think you'd be able to at least get a cup of tea in there and a kettle. Here's a quick look at the Chieftain tank. Look at how big that is compared to Susie and the kids. That is crazy. That is the Chieftain. Just looking at the size of it, it's absolutely massive. You can see the armor plating on the sides and the length of the gun. That's what she said. Absolutely massive. Beautiful tank. Okay, there you go. There's a Challenger 2 tank straight ahead. If you can see with so Susie and Sophie and Wesley all looking at the side of it. That, most of you will know, has been in Battlefield. But it used to have the desert colours on it in Battlefield, if I remember rightly. But there it is in all its glory. It's absolutely massive when you stand next to it. As all tanks are. Okay, that tank straight ahead. Anyone who's played Battlefield 1942 will know that that is the Panzer, which uh, you're able to drive on Battlefield 1942. Absolutely brilliant tank. That was the German tank in 1945, where they used to do it in World War II. Um, and it was, yeah, the Germans tank. That was what come against our tanks. It looks a lot smaller than the modern tanks of today, but it was still very powerful. Okay, as you can see here is Little Willy. <laughs> Pretty name, but um, I would imagine that this tank will be probably shown in Battlefield 1 when it comes out because this is like the first tank to be ever built sort of thing. It's called Little Willy and it says on the side 1915 which was uh, I think when World War 1 was going on so I would imagine that we will see this tank in Battlefield 1. Who knows? There is an actual picture here though on the wall of what looks like what we've seen in the trailers already and there's also a video going on obviously I can't record that for copyright reasons but you know it'd be amazing to see if this tank does actually get shown in the uh, the Battlefield 1 game. Here you can see the Mark 2 tank which is going to probably be the main tank that's shown in Battlefield 1. This is what we've seen in all of the uh, we've seen this in all of the trailers so far where you know you've got the one guy winding it the other guy being the gunner out of it so I'm guessing this is what is going to be the official tank in Battlefield 1. Can't wait to get in it myself. You can see it's got the side cut off showing you all the internals as well of that tank and apparently as I said earlier EA and uh, DICE did all of their tank modelling actually at this base here, uh, at the Tank Museum, so that they could get all of the actual stuff to the right size and the right capture, like the right size of the tanks and everything. So there we go. But that is the Mark II tank, which will be shown in Battlefield 1. Food vlog, sandwiches, sandwiches, pasty, and I've got a pasty. As you can see today, we've been absolutely blessed with a beautiful cloudless sky. Absolutely no clouds. Lovely day. And we're still at the tank museum. As you can see, in the middle of the field, They've got the Mark II tank out, which looks like they're going to be uh, having a go on in a little while. 
So I don't know whether they're going to drive it or try and drive it, but it's right out in the middle of the field in the spectator area. So hopefully they might do it. If they do, we'll video it. If not, then we'll carry on moving around the actual tag museum. If you ever get the chance to come here to, to view it, it's definitely worthwhile. Definitely worthwhile the money that they pay to come in. And it's so uh, interesting. That tank is actually moving now. Show you it moving now, look. That's the Mark One, the Mark Two tank. That'll be the one that's in Battlefield One when it comes out in November. That is what everyone who drives a tank in that game will be driving. So can't wait for that. You can hear it just chugging along so slow. I can tell you now, I wouldn't want to be sat in a tank in this weather, it'd be so hot. Yeah, this is the, the Soviet tank. Yeah. In the service in 1972, it was on in the uh, mid 1960s. Quite a revolutionary vehicle at the time. And you have a man crew, oh, and they're loading the turret. Compared to some of the uh, temporary uh, NATO vehicles, the Western tanks, very compact vehicles from the side of the fire still on it. So everyone, hi. We've had a fantastic day at the Tank Museum. Unfortunately, we didn't take the uh, other SD cards, so we wasn't able to carry on recording or taking more photos. But the, the bits of footage that we've got, we can uh, show everyone anyway, um, which you'll have seen before this part of the vlog. Also, um, if you haven't already, if you look on my Instagram, which is at the end now, all one word, it will then take you to my Instagram and show you all of the tanks and everything that we saw on that day because I did post quite a few to Instagram that day as well. Other than that, it's the last day of the holiday. We are just chilling out. We're just having final barbecue at a time. A few beers as well at the same time as the barbecue. You enjoyed yourself, Wesley? Spot on. We had a good holiday. Yes, yeah, been You nice. really enjoyed it. Yeah. Good, what was your favourite part? Probably the shopping down in Weymouth. Go and shopping going down in Weymouth and going on the beach. Yeah. Hi Sophie, what was your favourite part of the holiday, Sophie? Having um, a barbecue, getting some new shoes and going to the beach and um, getting them dummies. Oh, okay then, so you've had a fantastic time, yeah? And today. Right, oh, at the Tank Museum. Did you enjoy the Tank Museum? Yeah, we've only just came back as well. Okay, so there we go. 
So what I'll do the next time you'll probably see us is at the club later tonight because we're going to go up there for the one last time, see if we can win the bingo. We did win earlier on in the week, but unfortunately we didn't video it at the time, so that was just unfortunate. But we did win £36 the other night, which was a bonus. But uh, yeah, we'll go and try it tonight, see what's on tonight, and then tomorrow we'll be leaving early-ish in the morning to come home all the way back to coventry back for live streaming on monday so i hope you have a, a fantastic day i hope you've enjoyed the vlog we might come back here some point we will come back here another time that's right so because I hope we love it that's it we do love it so i hope you've enjoyed the vlog i hope you've enjoyed the week in weymouth with us and we will see you soon till then thanks for watching leave a like and bye for now I did. right it's the last night and we are going to win oh we're going dark at the bingo we will win tonight we shall we shall win tonight shall we wes yes it's the last night we want to well we won't get a million no we'll it's not get, no it's like not we shall quid. it's not we shall it's not we might it's we win we will win at the bingo tonight wayne's at home because he's exhausted and his his back's playing up tremendously and sophie's i was gonna say on the dance floor but she's over there with a friend playing already but we will win at the bingo as wesley says I will let you know in a couple of minutes how we get on. Still haven't won at Bingo, that's three games and three non-winners. We've got one last one to go, hopefully we'll win. This time, once again, is for a full house. And with our updated numbers, you are now playing for £71. Yay, we're going to win. Sorry guys, we didn't win. That's another fail. It would have been nice. We needed one number on that one, so one two numbers on that one, and one number on that one, and a few numbers on that one. Only if you gutted. Take a full mug or we'll split a scene You start off by pretending you're a dancer in grace And we go to the icky galling all over the place And then you get a great big cast of pie in the face Make a ball, make a ball, make them go Okay, so there we go. That is the end of our holiday at Warmwell in Dorset. I hope you've had a great time. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us what you want to see the next time we go on holiday and we'll see if we could do it for you. We hope you enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. It's been a lovely break. And I'll see you all on Monday for a live stream. It's www.twitch.tv forward slash ML. Till then, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now! And there you go, as you can see, they've just been all the way down to the sea and now he's trying to get back. I think he wants to come and get dried. He loves it on the beach, he absolutely loves the sand. Good down there? Yeah, we went did he go in the sea? What, he went right in?